I didn't gender. think so. <laughs> Let's head to the reservoir. We've got to find a husband there for her. Good yeah, idea. Yeah, Let's go. Come on. be that good, but I'd, I'd like to get back to it, get it over with. I'll make it worth your while. <coughs> thanks, but no thanks. Oh, come on. Be a sport. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be rude, all right? I just, I just want to read my book, all right? No offense? Oh, no offense. No, wait. <laughs> no, you don't understand, you know? I, I don't want you to wait. I want you to, to leave. I want to read my book. But you're not involved in All right. You understand. And I'll wait. Just me on 
already. Looking forward to becoming a victim. A light all star. This is my sister, Tina Willis. Hi. Not at all. <laughs> not at all? I'm not looking forward to it at all. Too bad. Isn't this a beautiful day for a wedding? Yes, it is. But I've never understood why May weddings are more popular than June ones. Especially when there are days as beautiful as this one. Well, I'm going to go find Mom in college. Make sure he doesn't go in a way. Jesus, at the rate they're going, I am going to be an old maid. Shine to bring together these two 
Linus Stark and me while they mess with me. If there's anyone among us who has any reason that these two not be wed, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Uh, hello, hey, thank you. <laughs> you used to say something? Yeah, I do. Why no, you don't say I do yet. You wait until he asks the question. <laughs> But I, I do have something to say. I knew this would happen. Mom, please. Do, do I know you? Do, do I know any of you? I, I was just sitting here reading, and now it looks like I'm getting married. Yes, go on. He's got a lot going on up there. <laughs> <laughs> One of the essential ingredients in terrorism is the element of surprise. This, this is a joke, right? It's a joke. Lionel, marriage isn't a joke to anyone. But I think that this marriage just might be different. <laughs> uh, last minute doubts are common, Lionel. No, no, th th these aren't last minute doubts. These are these are first minute doubts. <laughs> I see. So you're saying you don't want to get married? Right. <laughs> you're the victim. You have no choice. Go. I knew this wouldn't work. Troublemaker. Mom, please, it will not. Could all of you go away and let me talk to, to May or whoever it is that's in charge? A bum. I knew he was a bum. Mom, please. What kind of husband is she going to meet in the park? Where did you meet Daddy? In a bar. <laughs> Do you ever listen to yourself? Yes. <laughs> Lionel's right. Why don't you guys all just go away for a minute or something? Uh, uh excuse me. Where are we supposed to go? You could go get a hot dog or something. I swear. I'm the type of reception. Mom, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate birds. Now, if you can eat it, we'll just be right over here, okay? Okay, thanks. Well, I... Please, there isn't much time. Well, it's just If you're not going to help me, I have to know now. I'm willing to help you. I don't know you, but I'm willing to help. Thanks. <laughs> but, but marriage, isn't that asking a lot? Tell me what's going on. I just couldn't stand it anymore. It was time to take some positive action. Stand what? Being single. Oh. You see, I wouldn't mind being an old maid if I were older, but in these god-awful middle years, it's like I don't know who I am or what I'm doing anymore. But the BTPs put a lot into focus for me. <laughs> the BTP? The Bridal Terrorism Party. I don't understand. <laughs> There was a study a couple years ago that said a woman over the age of 35 would more likely be the victim of a terrorist attack than get married. The BTP was born to put a stop to that. There's an 87% success rate in all BTP marriages. Really? Really? In the orientation program, we are going to spot certain characteristics that would be ideal in a husband. And you spotted those in me? Well, of course. Like what? Not in liberty to say, but rest assured, we choose our victim carefully. We don't discover. <laughs> but maybe if instead of choosing someone you don't know, you might have met someone who you connected with. Hasn't happened yet. Ever? Oh, a few close calls along the way, but I like this idea much better. But marriage? It'll help you put my life into focus. Desperate times call for desperate action. And I suppose marrying me will help you. But it just might. I suppose I should give it time. It's always important to give things a chance. Right. So marriage will be new to both of us, right? Right. We'll be starting our lives together. Where do we live? We? Well, yes, where do we live? Well, I will tell you. 
quite frankly, I'm not inclined to go along with this, all right? I see. So I'm just, I'm just going to walk away from you, okay? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Listen, listen. Your sister said that there are a couple possibilities over by the reservoir. <coughs> I'm going to go check them out. I'm afraid my mind's made up. Sorry I can't help you. You can. And you will. Oh. You'll take me seriously, now won't you? Well, uh, I... So where do you live? Look, look, I, I enjoy being part of your, your therapy. Now, why don't you just put that away and, and let me leave here? I've got better things to do today than to marry a bridal terrorist. Come on. What are you doing sitting alone in an apartment on a Sunday afternoon? Everyone knows you should be with your wife, your mistress, or your girlfriend. Right? I like being alone and outside. What did you do outside? I, I, I had dinner with some friends. Did you have a date? No, these were just friends. I don't like myself. I don't. <coughs> Aren't you tired of being single and straight in New York? <laughs> sure, sometimes I get depressed. You think, is there no one out there for me? Am I doomed to spend the rest of my life alone? Sure, that happens. But you see, <laughs> I've solved a problem for both of us. How? We're married. Not really. Well, you will be in a few minutes. Come on, it's your thing. I'll confess to you. I looked around for quite some time before I decided to ask you to marry me. Really? Really? In fact, I was at that park entrance for the better part of an hour before I decided to head in this direction. <laughs> I think you're an attractive guy. Um, and I know you think I'm kind of pretty. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gone along this far, right? Yeah. So we have what physical attraction to be going for. <coughs> right? Sure. <laughs> You're crazy. Who is it? <laughs> Are your parents alive? Yeah. Have they been bothering you to get married? Yeah, but they live in Florida, so it's only once a week. <laughs> oh, God. We'll be thrilled. They can die happy now. But I don't even know you. If you and me, we could date for a while, and we talk about commitment and all that other stuff, and then we'd end up breaking up. Well, I had to find a husband. 
from the day. Today is my wedding day. Because, you know, see, if I hadn't found a husband, then I would have been an embarrassment to myself and to the party as well. I didn't know who I was going to marry, of course, but I knew that I was going to be married by 4 o'clock today from hell or high water. And you are. And I am. So can we proceed? This is Lionel Stark.
chance to, to celebrate what family means to each other. No? Very well said. Thank you. Listen, Lionel, you seem like a nice guy. If you hadn't have said anything about having to be at the home, will you be my brother-in-law right now? And then, in a few months, at a cocktail party at our house, well, you'd come and see if you could give me a hand in the kitchen. One thing would lead to another. You give me a hand somewhere else. <laughs> because I feel like trash cheating on my husband with my brother-in-law. Well, I'd slap you across the face, and then I'd tell May what you did. She filed it for a divorce, take you for every penny you've got, and leave you. Gina, Yeah, I do. God. Gina! <laughs> what? You said I would feel like a trash cheating on my husband with my brother-in-law. And I would call it. That seems to imply that you wouldn't feel like trash cheating on me with someone else? Well, I didn't mean to <coughs> like that. But that's what you said. Listen, I'm trying to make a point here. It's Lionel, so I'll be back with you in a minute. Well, what's your point then? My point is, is that this marriage was doomed from the start. So why don't we just call it? I think we have a chance at something positive here. <laughs> How can I face the other members of the party with an outpatient as a group? <laughs> hey, are you satisfied? You created a monster. Because I believe in marriage, I'm a monster. <laughs> because I'm willing to take heartfelt emotional chances, I'm deranged. <laughs> because for the first time in my life, I meet a woman who's not interested for what my past is, but only for what our future together may hold. That makes me a cuckoo bird. Good point. Which one? <laughs> no, I'm not interested in the past, only the future. I like that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> when I came into the park today, I was looking for serenity. <laughs> and look what we've given you. And look what he's giving us. Lionel, if we had what <laughs>